I live in a zoo. Get ready for the long list of a hundred different art video ideas you can make on YouTube. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Number one is the easiest one and that is a vlog. All you have to do is sit in front of your camera and talk. Everybody wants my attention right now. Number two, a travel art vlog. Nobody wants to see your butthole, Ripley. Go take a trip somewhere and make some art there or of the place that you visited. Number three is a field trip. This one's a little bit different. I did a field trip video last year for the La Strada Chalk Art Festival in Hillsborough, Oregon. It was a lot of fun. So you could take your camera around town, go to a gallery or an art museum and make a whole little video about your field trip out and about. Number four, a kid's art video. So keep it kid friendly, obviously, but you could do an art project with a kid or for kids. Number five is speed painting or time-lapse video. I've done lots of these. These are probably the most common ones that you can do for YouTube. You just go ahead and do your thing and then speed up the footage. Number six is the opposite of that, and that's to do a slow-mo and close-up video of your painting. Number seven, a paint along. A tutorial is a little bit different, but that is the next one, number eight. So in this one, you're gonna actually take your time and talk through the steps and show people at home exactly what it is that you're doing step by step as if they've never painted before. Number nine is a fun one and I haven't done this one yet and that is a Goodwill find and flip. So go to your local thrift store, pick up a painting and see what you can do with it. Add some monsters in the background or put your own finishing touches on them. Number 10, a shopping haul. Number 11 is a product comparison. So buy a couple different types of acrylic paints or canvases and compare them side by side. Number 12, unboxing video. Number 13, your supply collection. Do you have a really amazing collection of supplies like the world's best palette knives or some crazy number like a thousand and one different colored markers? You can show off the supplies that you have at your home. Number 14 is product review. So go out and buy a couple things or just one thing if you, if you want to and go ahead and experiment with it and tell us your personal review of it. Number 15, top five favorite products. I've made a video of this one and I went through and talked about my five favorite products or tools that I use almost every single time that I paint with. So you could do a video on yours. Number 16, advice for artists. What's something that you would like to share with other artists to help them out? Number 17, tricks or hacks for artists. Do you have a trick to speed up your oil painting or how to slow down the drying of your acrylics? Number 18, have a co-host. This is a lot of fun, so bring on a friend or somebody, it doesn't have to be art related, and have them co-host your video with you. Number 19, a collaboration, so bring on an artist and work with them to create a work of art. Number 20, your favorite YouTubers. Which YouTubers do you enjoy watching on YouTube? Number 21, your favorite art books. Which art books have been your favorite that have really helped you out that you enjoy reading? Number 22, all about you and your art journey. When did you start doing art and why? Number 23, take requests from viewers. Number 24, art challenges. There's tons of art challenges out there. You can easily find something that you'd like to try out. Number 25, a portfolio tour. Number 26, similar but different, a sketchbook tour. Show us your sketches and doodles. Number 27, I just did this one and that is a studio declutter and organization video. Number 28, a home or studio tour. Show us around your home, where you live, and where you work. Number 29, setting up for an art show. How do you go about setting up for an upcoming art show or setting up the day of an art show? Number 30, try out a new subject. So if you paint people, try painting animals. Or if you do landscapes, try still life. So just try out a different subject. Number 31, try out a new style. If you paint realism, try abstract. If you paint abstract, try impressionism. Number 32, try out new medium. If you're used to working in oils but have never tried acrylics, go ahead and try acrylics, vice versa. If you've always worked in colored pencils, switch over to watercolor. Number 33, how to build an e-commerce site. So talk about the process you have for building your online shop. Number 34, how to start an art business. Where did you start? Where do you hope your business will go? 
Number 35, how to package and ship or transport your art. I've done this one as well. It's really helpful to watch to see what other artists do. Number 36, how to make your art look more professional. Number 37, how to fix bad art. Number 38, how to make your art look more interesting. And I'll be doing a video on this in a few weeks. Number 39, how to do your art taxes. I'll also be doing this one in a couple weeks. Not the video, I'm just gonna be sitting down for a day trying to figure out my taxes. Number 40, how to replenish your work. A lot of artists don't think about this, I've noticed, but if you have your art on display, whether that be in a gallery or a restaurant, there's a very good chance you could sell. And if you do sell, then what? Are you just gonna leave the walls blank? So you can make a whole video about how you replenish your work when it sells. Number 41, how to get into an art show. How did you get into your first art show? Number 42, how to make and monitor your inventory. Do you use a spreadsheet? Do you use pictures? Do you assign a number to each painting? Number 43, how to finish your art. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. When you're done painting, it doesn't mean that your art piece is done, okay? You gotta finish the sides and the back, so you can make a whole video on that. Number 44, how to make your supplies look like other supplies. For example, how to make your acrylics look like oils or how to make your acrylics look like watercolor. Number 45, do a Q&A. Number 46, how to make a video on YouTube. Do you use a cell phone? Do you use a camera? Do you upload it onto an actual program? Number 47, how to price your artwork. Number 48, how to make money as an artist. You can do physical sales, digital sales. There's other websites that you can sell your work with. You can do commissions, you could do teaching. So there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do. You can turn that into a video. Number 49, how to make money on YouTube as an artist. And before we get into number 50, we are halfway done. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, if you're getting something out of this video and you'd like to see more of my content. And let's get back to the numbers. Number 50, how to take care of your supplies. What cleaners do you use? How do you dry your brushes? Do you use conditioner? Number 51, where to show your art. There's all kinds of different areas where you can show your art. You don't have to just stick to the traditional galleries, restaurants and bars. There's fairs and art committees and all kinds of things that you can do to show your art. Number 52, why did you become an artist? Was it a lifelong calling? Were you just fed up with your other job? Tell the story of why you became an artist. Number 53, behind the scenes as an artist. Show a little bit of your life in the real world and what it's like. Number 54, art scams. I sort of talked about one of these in a previous video as well. I'll link that down below. Number 55, make a master copy. Take an art piece from one of the great masters and try to copy it. I did this with a Titian and I actually took a whole class on it in college and it was awesome. You created one painting for the entire term. Number 56, inspiration. Talk about how you get inspired. Where do you look for inspiration? What does inspire you? Number 57, you could do a slideshow of your art. Number 58, embracing weakness. Talk about where you're the weakest in your art and how you go about fixing it, correcting it, improving it, hiding it. Number 59, an opinion piece. These can be controversial, but you can use something like, why are art competitions bad or good? Number 60, your favorite artists of all time. Number 61, share the evolution of your art. Show your earliest works to where you are now and how you have evolved. Number 62, exploring another artist's art style. So this isn't just like I had mentioned before with switching styles. This is looking at a very specific artist like Van Gogh and painting in his style. Number 63, art giveaways. Number 64, this is for the adults out there, a drunk painting video. Number 65, create art without your usual tools and supplies. So maybe go around your house and find other things you can paint with. Number 66, a limited supply art piece. So limit yourself to maybe one brush or just one palette knife. Number 67, a limited color painting. Limit yourself to maybe one or two colors. Number 68, all about YouTube SEO. So dive into what you do to boost your views and get your SEO numbers up. 
Number 69, and this is a fun one that I wanna try out, is create an art piece inspired from another form of art. So if you see a sculpture that you really like, turn that into a drawing. Or for me, I was going to take inspiration from Fashion Week and turn that into a painting. Number 70, revisit an old art piece. So with revisiting it, you're gonna take that older piece and work on it some more. So you're gonna see where you can add some more strokes or add another subject in there. You're just going to continue to work on it. Number 71, make a new art piece from an old art piece. This is where you actually take that physical painting or drawing or whatever, destroy it, maybe rip it up, turn it into a collage and give it new life. Number 72, remake an old art piece. This is where you'll take a painting that you did a long time ago and do it again from scratch from the beginning. So a long time ago, let's say you did a self portrait or a picture of your dog, do the same one again and see how you've improved over the years. 73, holiday specials or videos related to a holiday. So I did a few of these. I did a Dia de los Muertos and then I did a Halloween special. 74, a reached goal video. Did you reach your goal? 100 subs, 1,000 subs, 100,000 subs. Maybe you reached your goals in sales. Maybe you just got into a gallery. So share your reached goal video. Number 75, year in review video. So talk about everything you did the last year, which brings me into number 76, which is new year goal video. What are some things you hope to achieve in the new year? Number 77, things every artist should know. What are some things you feel like every artist should know, but yet for some reason you feel like they don't know and that would be really helpful to them. I'm starting to get tired sitting here on the sofa. 78, a live stream, which I hope to do this. This is where you're actually physically live, no editing. It's not a pre-filmed, edited, and then premiered video. It's actually live streaming. So that should be fun. Hopefully nothing bad would happen. 79, interview another artist. 80, a bucket list. Talk about everything you wish to achieve in your life as an artist. 81, must visit museums and galleries. 82, overcoming art block. 83, themed art. 84, fan art. And I don't just mean get a paper fan and start painting it or something or put paint on a motorized fan and blow it on the canvas. Although that would be cool. It's probably been done before. No, I mean, take a take inspiration from your favorite TV show, comic book, book, movie, character, video game character of some kind and make art from that. 85, an art series or a series of videos that are related in some way. 86, social media and art. You could talk about how social media has affected you or not affected you and your art career or inspired you or how bad it is or whatever you wanna do. 87, art platforms. You could talk about all the different kinds of art platforms there are out there. There's a ton. When I first got started, Deviant Art was the thing. And then I have stuff on Saatchi and now there's Patreon. So you can do a whole video on that. 88, oddly satisfying and ASMR videos. So really hyper-focus on colors, um, maybe slow motion, maybe have really strong audio. Number 89, show your creative process from start to finish. We've reached number 90, <sighs> okay. Share the worst piece of art that you've ever done. Number 91, share the best work of art that you've ever done. Number 92, myths about artists. Number 93, share your successes as an artist. Number 94, share your failures as an artist. Number 95, how did you get your art channel to grow? For me, it was the short speed. Number 96, how did you find your art style or niche? Number 97, paint along with a non-artistic person. Number 98, common mistakes video. You can list all the common mistakes that people have made or that you have made. And that way you can help another artist out. Number 99, experimentation videos. These are so much fun and I've done a couple. I'll link those down below. And finally, last but not least is make your own 100 art video ideas for artists. All right, so there you have it. 100 video ideas for artists. I'm sure a lot of these were probably, you've already done them and you've heard about them before, but I'm hoping maybe a couple you haven't. That's it for today, guys. Remember, I do upload several times a week, so make sure you check back. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you.